Firstly, to prepare the ventilator for use, you need to look at the back of the ventilator. The mains cable plug is securely fixed to the chassis. The air and oxygen hoses. The on-off button. To switch the machine on, it's a prolonged push in. But to switch it off, you need to disconnect the battery as well. So it is a prolonged switch in, release it, and then a quick push in again, and that disconnects the battery. RS232 port, the cover that allows access to the O2 cell, And that is the back of the silencer that is slightly inset, so there's no chance to block the back of the silencer. The side flap exposes the exhalation block and silencer. The exhalation block should always be locked into place to prevent any movement when the machine is moved around and the flap is put back into place. Turning to the front of the ventilator you will see the touch screen. It's a complete touch screen. The portion below the screen is where you will attach the patient connector and flow sensor cable and the light on the right hand side is showing that the ventilator is attached to mains power. To attach the circuit to the machine, the first is the tubing that goes from the fresh gas port to the humidifier chamber, then from the humidifier chamber to the patient, and from the patient to the exhalation block. The proximal airway line that has been plugged in now carries information from the patient Y connector to the ventilator. Electric adapter from the humidifier needs plugging into the heater wire assembly in the circuit and the temperature probe needs to be inserted at the chamber and then closer to the patient connector. We have two flow sensors, a reusable flow sensor and a single use flow sensor where they have a specific gap into which the flow sensor cable is inserted. You can see the arrow on the cable should line up with that gap. You'll hear click on insertion. You then place the flow sensor into the patient circuit and I'm just using a test lung to demonstrate in the meantime. The flow sensor cable gets pushed into the ventilator and if you want to remove it, it has a sleeve that you pull back for easy removal. When you plug it in, you'll hear a loud click. The exhalation block contains no valves at all as the SLE employs the valveless technology which is patented to SLE. Two opposing flows of gas form a virtual exhalation valve. The benefits of this are good clearance of expired gases, no inadvertent peep, no valves to stick. 